So turn in your cover sheets, please. And you all know, everybody turn in the sheets. All right. If you do have the problem that I assigned, uh, if you have a problem that I have assigned to you, go to the board and put that problem up. Yeah, whichever problem you have, go put it up. If you do not have a problem, I will give you a problem. Once everybody is up and I know what, what number are you doing? One, who's doing two? Okay, who's doing three? Number three, so you do number three. Who's doing four? Okay, five, okay, six. Who's doing six? How about you do, uh, do you have one? Yeah. Okay, um, anybody else? You have problem? You have problem? Go. Yeah, so go, go, go. Now two more people can squeeze in there. How do you, so if you write the problem down, can you tell us how do you undo roots? If it was a square root, you would do what to both sides? Um, you'd square it. Square. Yeah. And if it is fifth root, then you would do what to both sides? You have to raise each side to the fifth root. There you go, do that. Fifth root or fifth power? Fifth power. Fifth power, okay. Anybody else stuck on their problem? Yep, go put it up for me. Everybody put their problems up yet? Oh, 3.5. So here, go put over here, 11. You have yours? Yes, yes, everybody, if you have a problem, you go up. Katya, when you say uh, the steps of factoring, which part is that? Like for that one? For, for, mine, for this one. For that one, okay. So after this, after I that, what to do? What to do after okay. That. And what number is that? Five? Five. And did somebody put that up already? No, I, I only put this one up so far. Okay. All right, so then when there's more space, we'll do that one. You figured it out? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to fix it. All right, now that the problems are up, who can give me a summary of the lectures that you watched? You can look in the notes if you want. It's all about solving equations, so yes, go ahead. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh. Uh, yeah, they it showed us how to um, do this type of problem in different um, versions of it, like the one with the... Uh, square roots? Yeah, the square root and the exponent. So how do you undo roots? roots? If it was a square root, what can we do to undo square roots? You uh, square it. Very good. If it was a cube root, what can you do to take away the cube root? Uh, she said, said if you take square root, you say square both sides. You cube root, yes, say that out louder. You cube. You cube both sides. If you had a square, then what? If you had a square, how do you remove squares? Square, square, square roots. roots. If you had cubes, you would remove it as? Cube, cube, cube roots. roots. If you have squares, do you only get one square root? Like if I was x squared equals 25, and I took square root, what would happen? Just five? Five and negative five. Everybody understand what he was saying? Five and negative five. Why five and negative five? Why two answers? Because uh, you still, you would get the same thing. You would get the same thing if you square them. Okay, and remember now, you can always check if you got the right answer. So if x is 1, you can plug it in and see if it's got it right. So try it. 2 plus 1 is? 3. Uh -huh, so that's square root of 3 on one side. What about the other side? Oh, how did you get that? Oh, I see what happened to you. Is there a square root there, though? Is it a square root 3 minus x? Right, like right here? This square root? Yeah. So that'll be a square root over there. And the uh, plus one is on the outside of the square root. So equals? Equals right here. Right here. So three minus one is two. So that'll be square root of two. And then a plus one on the outside. Oh, are they equal to each other then? Yeah. 
No. no. So you know something is wrong here then, right? right? But your process, your logic is absolutely correct. You said to undo square roots, you square both sides. So write down parentheses, square root 2 plus x, the whole side basically, close parentheses, square equals another open parentheses, and the whole right hand side but the whole right hand side, including the plus one. And close bracket, now square it. Aha, now, so that was your first step. So you've spoken, everybody understand what he said to do first step? Now you have to do something next. So what are you gonna do next? Square. That's correct, so when you square a square root, you're gonna end up with? Two, two plus six. x, good. But what happens here when you square it? Square means what to you? Like if I wrote? Yeah, that's correct, so write it out then. All right, now what? We have another square root that we should get rid of. What should we do next? There you go, go ahead and do that. Now remember when you square both sides, oh, the whole thing has to be square, right? Okay. Now remember when you multiply, write the brackets side by side so you don't make a mistake. Here is a question for the rest of you. If I have negative one plus x bracket squared, can I go negative one squared x squared? No, why not? You have to distribute. You have to do distributive property. Can you distribute exponents over addition? No. No, why not? You are correct. You can't distribute exponents at all. Right. What is the only thing you can distribute? Multiplication. Multiplication. Subtraction. Very nice. Good job. She's saying you can only distribute multiplication over addition or subtraction. That's it. Everybody okay with that? All right. All right. Let's see where you're at. Oh, yeah, good, good. Keep going. Yeah, it's a long problem. <laughs> so let's go up here now. Just keep what happened to the 4 minus x? He brought that over to the other side. You always want one square root term on one side, one square root term on the other side. So you can square and get rid of it. Now, if you had something more, then we had to do it twice. Square twice, right? All right, let's see what happened there. Yeah, so does that work then? No. no? So put our cross through... Negative 1. Now don't erase it there though, right down on the bottom there. x equals 2 works, right? So put a box around it and write x equals negative 1 is extraneous solution. Yeah, that's right. Good, good. That will work too. Very nice. You see what happened? Yeah. All right. Any questions on that one? Everybody okay with that? Subtract it 25 and I got it to equal 0. And uh, this turns into this. Because um, 49 minus 25, mm -hmm. and then uh, 4 goes into all of these, well, mm -hmm. these two, and then... Um, so you factored it? Yeah. Now there's something missing. So this is an equation. Is this an equation or an expression? Are you missing something? Both. Uh-huh. And on, on the bottom, too? Right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you solved it? Yeah. Okay, and then what? What about that? What, what is this here? Well, uh, this, mm -hmm. yeah, um, this is a way that always works. Uh, this way doesn't always work for every problem. So uh, with this. Okay, um, so hold on right there. Everybody listen very carefully to what he just said. Say one more time what you just said. Um, this way works sometimes, but not all the time. And when will it not work? Uh, if you could yeah. not... Factor, oh, yeah, right. right? You can't always factor, so this method he's saying may not always work because you may not be able to factor. Right. But he's saying this method will always work, mm -hmm. so tell us what that method is. Uh, so if you have square of something equals a number, then you can undo the square by doing what? What did you do? Well, what I did was um, I had a plus or a minus. Uh, the square root of 25, yep. and I have 2x minus 7 equals 5, and I have 2x minus 7 equals negative 5, and then from there you just solve, and 2x equals 12 divided by 2 is 6, and I got 1, which is the same as over here. Very nice. Everybody understand that? That was beautiful. Now, what he said, let's uh, address, yeah, you can have it. Let's address what he said here by attendance quiz. He said that method doesn't always work. So 
So I'm going to give you an example of that. Let's do um, x plus 1 squared equals 3. What should we do next? So go ahead and take a few moments. Do a tandem screws on a piece of paper. When you are done, hold it up so I know that you have it. Yeah, that's okay. So keep going now. So now what? You have to factor it if it factors. Very nice. That's it. So you be my grader here. Okay. Okay. So does it factor? No, it doesn't. No. So I have to do it the other way. Yeah. Very nice. Everybody listen. Everybody listen. Say one more time what you just said. It doesn't factor, so I got to do it the other way. She's saying it doesn't factor, so you have to do it the other way. You're forced to do it the other way. Right? So you better learn it. <laughs> All right. There's quite a large number of you going on to 105. So I'm going to give you a challenging question and see if you can do it. Yeah. Okay. And this problem. Well, that one, the x's are squared. Very nice. 